It's Adventure Time with your girl, Meredith San Diego. If you're traveling south through Thailand, make sure you add to your list of to-dos the Khao Sam Royat National Park. That's where you find this amazing cave. We're off to the National Park. We almost ran out of gas, but we found this nice little ha uh, handy side station. And we got some for 20 baht and filled our tank. And now we're going to continue uh, adventure on. The nature that you're exposed to once you get farther away from the city really is breathtaking. And it gives you a small glimpse into what real Thai living is like. The serenity that I find surrounded by the nature in this country is really one of the main factors that drew me to Thailand in the first place. Okay, we just arrived, parked the what bike. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was a long ride. How long would you say it was? Uh, maybe maybe an hour? No, was it maybe an hour? less. I think like 45. 40 minutes, 45 minutes yeah. from, from where, we, uh, where my home is located in Pranbury. So anyway, we are arriving here at the beach, hoping to get a boat that will take us to a section of the beach that will then allow us to hike one mile if I, <laughs> a kilometer. Something if, like that. We if understand. I understand it, if yeah. we understand it correctly. <laughs> Language barriers abound, but adventure, adventure, adventure wins. <laughs> so um, anyway, we understand that you have two choices. You can either walk two kilometers over two mountains to get to the cave, or you can take this boat to a part of the beach where it will only allow you to walk over one mountain. And since, as I mentioned before, I am recovering physically from a motorbike crash, we will take the option of the boat and the one kilometer walk, but check that view out. There really is plenty of signage around, so it's next to impossible to get lost. You will have to board the boat while it's in the shallow, so you, that means wading out with your bare feet. So keep that in mind and be sure to bring some sandals along. dried off our wet feet, put on our socks and our hiking shoes, and away we go. I think that it's that way. These steps are seriously slippery, so watch your step. The limestone in this cave is centuries years old. Think about that. That hike was most definitely worth it. Arrive at the cave between 10 and 11 a.m. to catch the sun rays hitting the top of the temple. The limestone cavern was discovered 200 years ago by a governor who was seeking shelter from a terrible storm. The temple itself was built in 1890 for the king who was ruling at the time. This experience was truly incredible and breathtaking at more than one turn. This cave is massive and you can actually spend quite a lot of time here. So enjoy it and take your time. 
Thanks for watching. Keep an eye out for all the new videos by subscribing below.